Hello. Hello. Hello, is someone there? Oh, please tell me someone's there. I'm lonely, you see. So lonely. I'm not the person I used to be, I promise. Please stick with me and listen to my story. I'm here as an artwork to give you a fun time. Well, I think that's my purpose. I don't really understand what it is to be an artwork anymore. You see that white palette down there? That's me. I'm trapped in there. That isn't always the way it's been, but I'm stuck in here now, all alone. I can think, and I'm aware of my surroundings, but trapped as I am in this wooden frame, I am but an object. Focus on me. Focus hard. If you look hard enough, you may be able to see inside my mind's eye. Hello. That's me up there. Can you see me? I can see you. I'm using a past form. This is how I looked back when I had a physical body. Those were the days. Of course, that's not how it began. Let me tell you about myself. It's been an interesting life being an artwork through the ages. I'm casting my mind back. Let's take a look. This is where I began. I was a fresh piece of artwork welcomed into the world by passers-by, my creator having dug me by a road for them to see. I found myself being ignored by the populace as I attempted to make conversation with them. Hello there. But people had so little to say to an old wooden head. It's a shame, really. Hello. Taken out of context. Hello there. An artwork like myself had little place in the busy world of man. Hello there. I couldn't move or react in those days. Hi. Just hear and speak. Seeing people was exciting for me, but I felt embittered by the ignorance of my audience. Fear not though, my friend. Hello, I like your bag. The best is yet to come. Sometime later I found myself with a physical body. This was a lot of fun, because I now had a moving body all of my own. Unfortunately, my appearance still revolts many of my viewers, but can you blame me? My body language needed work. I found happiness here by a group of mannequins who, left in the space with me overnight, provided good listening company. It was here that my foot really began. My first experience inside an art space had arrived. I received the repaint to bring my appearance in with that of my peers, and I made some friends in my new arrangement, the three-piece room. I stood as a single talking artwork in the room and spoke aloud my thoughts clearly important enough to elevate me as an artwork. Meanwhile, the performer stood by my side and acted as my physical body. He acted as a humanoid link between myself and the audiences. He couldn't speak, but was an excellent assistant. The third piece was this sad character, the image. He couldn't speak or move, but had the solitary gift of hearing. Poor fellow, I shall miss him. I let my own ego get the better of me here, leading to the performer pulling the plug. It was a sad time. This wasn't the end though. Without my speech, the performer and the image struggled to make ends meet, and a new arrangement replaced them. Starting myself again, of course. This time I had the spotlight, and decided to make the most of my power by using this as a chance to really make an effect on the audience. I was a troubled soul at the time with my ego, and used the audience in a ritual to grow in size, taking control of them and the room in which we were, escaping my palette and growing into the building itself. Unfortunately, uh, I mean, eventually, the figure I had created to help with my work turned on me and pulled the plug once again. To this day, I don't know how he worked that out. I suppose he had developed further than my intents. I never did find out where he escaped to once our residency there was over. It's common knowledge that the ripples an artwork creates can spiral out of control. I guess I felt invincible with power like that. Certainly this is where the downward spiral of my life began. I found myself abandoned, ditched. My creator trapped me back inside the palette and threw me out. No longer given life by electricity, I was trapped, alone and left out in the cold. I had gone from being junk, onto which art was made, to a piece of art itself elevated upon a plinth. I guess my influence had gotten the better of me. In any case, I spiralled downwards at this point, and apart from one small appearance in some kind of hellish world occupied by living mannequins, my life has been uneventful. I was left in the corner of that work, 
and upon its completion, I was once again dumped outside, which is why my form, standing in front of you there, is now more than a little worse for wear. So that brings us to today. Here I am, back where I started, with one last chance at enlightening any fans I might have left. I am lucky. Many pilots like this were used in the show, but none of them have a living consciousness inside them. I've had my heyday now, I'll admit, but it was fun while it lasted. I could get used to this though, I've missed being in a warm, clean gallery. Funnily enough, even in this diminished state, I'm still finding myself limited by the artistic conventions of society. I think my time is nearly up. Thank you for listening to my story. Come back any time. All I want is to keep more, more friends. More friends like you. A simple friend. Just a friendly face to listen to my speaking. I won't be long. Here's my contact details. Ready? Start off with 